Today's quick video is concerning Max ECU Power Adder. Power Adder is a feature that will allow you to increase or decrease power based upon a target digital input like speed or drive shaft speed. And this will allow you to add or subtract things like boost or nitrous. So today's example, we're going to show you how to set up a boost power adder. So the first thing you want to do is go into your boost control settings and you want to turn this on. So uh, extra table one, make sure that's enabled. Make sure this axis is power adder. In this example, we are setting our limits to be the same as the boost we want to change. So this is our minimum and maximum range. This can go negative 100 to positive 100, but for this example, I set it to negative 20 to positive 20 so that it's easy for me to remember that uh, it's in PSI. So this will set our limits of how much we can adjust the power adder feature. And this is found in the boost control settings menu. Next, we will go to motorsports power management and we will enable the power adder feature here you will see how it's to be set up so max value uh, time after launch so when after the clutch is released or the trans brake is released what is the maximum amount of power adder do you want to be allowed and in this case since we made the power adder one to one with boost this is 5 psi this is 10 psi this is 15 psi so on and so forth so at four seconds into the run the most they can add is 10 pounds of boost or 10 power adder units same thing with the minimum value now here this is how quickly we want to bring the power adder in or take the power adder out what we want to have is we want to have a a ramped power adder in so probably that's 30 PSI per second. That's 10 PSI per second. Then we will interpolate this horizontally. So if we were 20 miles an hour below our target speed, this is how quickly it's going to add boost. And, and it's the rate of change for boost. So that's 10 PSI per second, 17 PSI per second, so on and so forth. And in this table, we'll zero this table out. And if we're above the target line we want to we want to make that happen pretty quickly so we'll say as soon as we get above that target we want to start bringing it down pretty quickly so when you're adding boost to achieve target you want to kind of ramp that in slowly and when you're trying to get that power back under control you want to make that happen pretty quickly what we've got here is a data log on the screen showing target wheel speed and actual wheel speed of a run and what you will see is that several instances we were close, we were far away, we went above the line. But what I wanted to show you is as you scroll through the, the data log, you will notice what, what the power adder would be doing here. So basically throughout this section of the run, we would be at our min and max here in here and since we're below the line that's a negative number so our actual is below the line we're less than the target so that's a negative number we would be adding boost and we would be ramping it in at that speed between 10 and 17 psi per second as we get above our target you'll see that we're about four seconds into the run and our min and max is 10 plus 10 and minus 10 psi um, and we are going to be adding roughly let me get it on the line so right there we're going to be ramped down we're going to be pulling 10 psi per second and that could actually be the same as everywhere so you want to get it back below the target as fast as you can to try to eliminate you know wheel speeds or you know wheel spin or wheelies i just wanted to give a visual demonstration of what that actually looks like target versus actual as it's going through the graphs and it will using this feature of keeping the data logger always on top that allows you to click between the data logger and the ecu maps so you can see what is physically happening in each one of your tables you create thanks for choosing max ecu